This week, we talk about morality, specifically how prohibition doesn't work. And yes, we will be talking about gun control. Whether you're setting up a morality or you're setting up a legal system, there are rules that exist across all cultures. These I call universal rules. And the one we're going to talk about today is prohibition doesn't work. And what do I mean by that? Because that's a pretty uh, blanket statement. Prohibition doesn't work in effect that you can try and tell people you can't have this, you can't do this, you can't sell this, you can't try it, so on and so forth but they'll do all those things. Let's go back into history and look at the success rate of prohibition. Prohibit religion, we start a country. Prohibit alcohol, we start things like the mafia. Prohibit marijuana, we still do it anyway. Prohibit guns, it's not gonna be any more successful. And while prohibition is incredibly unsuccessful, we can't just go around allowing everything simply because people will do it anyway. For example, things like murder, child pornography, rape, these things are banned because even a single use of this is horrific. But if we allow a culture that allows these things, people because they're gonna do it anyway, the culture would self-destruct and our society would break down. The, we cannot allow everything to go by. So how do we define what we can prohibit and what we can't? Well, that's a very complex question, so let's simplify it because I wanna focus this video on gun control. Let's say things that would cause the destruction of the society, things so dangerous that if we started allowing them on a large scale, the, the culture would eat itself alive. Those things cannot be allowed. But things like marijuana that have no real negative side effects, those things shouldn't be banned. But where do guns fall into on the spectrum? Well, guns are a weapon. They are designed to take life. Now, on small degree, this can be used to defend your home, your family, and your country. But on a large scale, it could also be used to take a country, to cause mass killings. So where do we draw the line with a gun? Well, we can't put guns in a blanket statement, like guns are bad or guns are good. Anything like this is oversimplifying the issue. We have to look at what's causing guns to be bad and what's causing guns to be good. We have to be sure to define what we're talking about. A gun is a weapon or a tool. It has no motive and it has no will. That is created by the person wielding it. But a gun is single-handedly designed to take life. It is a dangerous weapon. Because all the negative side effects of guns spawn from the user, we have to be able to define who can use a gun and who can't. For example, most mass killings are committed by obviously crazy individuals. These people should not wield guns. Another problem with guns that is often not talked about is the fact that people will keep a gun in their house for self-defense. These people have children, those children get their gun, and an accident occurs. This is why non-responsible people, people who either don't know how to wield a gun, don't know how to secure a gun, or just generally aren't responsible people, should not have guns. I am not arguing that no one should have a gun, absolutely not. But if you are a responsible, educated, and intelligent gun owner, you know what I'm talking about. Crazy people, and people who simply don't know what they're doing shouldn't wield a dangerous weapon, whether it's a knife, gun, sword, whatever. That being said, NRA, you simply can't arm teachers, people who don't know how to use guns necessarily, simply because it will add security. Bullshit, this is the kind of stupidity that causes more accidents. While banning guns outright is a blatantly stupid act, arming everyone else is equally dumb. Now, frankly, this gun control issue would just be pushed under the rug and we would keep going. Now, well, I don't personally like talking about it. I'm not a fan of shooing off debate. I think the more debate, the better. That being said, Obama felt the need to get in on the issue and decide some regulations that need to be put into effect in guns. Before we leap to conclusions and start, you know, calling Obama dumb or this is what needs to happen or whatever, let's look at what he's proposed and see if those are actual reasonable solutions or even solutions at all. The first one I want to talk about is this so-called ban on semi-automatic rifles. It seems to me that the language is too vague. Are we talking about hunting rifles, f assault rifles? Because the problem is a semi-automatic is simply one that you don't have to reload after every shot. 
and this could be a pistol as semi-automatic. Now I know he's talking about rifles, but there's still quite a few mini rifles that are practically used for hunting animals, for example, but there's no reason those should be banned. The next one is this idea that the clip can only have 10 rounds. This just seems utterly bizarre to me, not because you need 30 rounds to take down a burglar, of course not, and maybe anything more than 10 rounds is too much, but it doesn't seem to be addressing any real problem. Because even if it's still 10 rounds, that's you can still kill a person with 10 rounds. I don't really, is it supposed to make it not as hard to kill people? I don't, it's, it's not addressing the issue of the person behind the gun. And the final one, which I think is actually addressing the issue, is everything needs a background check. As we've talked about, only people who are responsible, sane individuals should wield a lethal weapon. So you shouldn't be able to just go to a gun show or private dealer and buy a weapon. Because what's to stop you from going to one of these things, buying a weapon, walking to a nearby school, and shooting a bunch of kids? I'm not kidding, this is simply not okay. And I've had arguments with pro-gun activists who think, you know, I want to sell my gun, why does it matter? Well, all it takes is one crazy person to ruin that for everybody. We need to have regulations, even if they seem obscene. Instead of banning guns outright, what we need is a larger list of people who are criminally insane, people who have domestic violence issues. These kind of people should not be allowed to buy, purchase, or wield a lethal weapon. Unfortunately, this list has problems of their own. Things like people being on this list for smaller issues who shouldn't be, or the government having too large of a list and checking on too many people for too many things. Ultimately, the truth we have to realize is, we can't predict crazy. And for those of you who've never wielded a gun in your life, or for those of you who wield guns but have never really tried any other sort of weapon and just sort of wield them for fun, don't get in this debate. Please stop. You don't know what you're talking about. Go out, fire a gun once, swing a sword once, learn some martial arts. What you're wielding is a deadly weapon. With it comes a lot of responsibility, but putting that gun in your hand doesn't automatically make you a serial killer, nor does it grant you magical self-defense powers. It requires you to be an intelligently educated and responsible user to get what you want out of the weapon. And let me leave you with a final note. Who do you think caused the Crusades? The people behind it or the swords they were wielding? Hey peoples, I think one of my friends, I really didn't want to do this video, but here it is. I was convinced that this needed to be done and needed to be talked about. So I hope you like it, as intense as and heavy as it was. Next week's is going to be kind of equally intense, but we're going to be working on some shorts. So I hopefully will be able to bring you some special effects. I'm working on bringing Breakdown back to kind of uh, not so you know deep issues. And please, I just, I don't like talking about these things. And I frankly didn't even want to do this video because I, you know, I respect the families whose children who died and I didn't want to politicize it. But it's a, it's a subject and a debate that needs to be talked about. So I've, I've talked about it, but come on people, you know, let's, let's move on to something else now.